Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. We have on this chart an initial five wave rally into the Monday 11th of March high. Okay, maybe it was a day earlier or later. I don't know. It was around this this time, 10th of March, 11th of March, when the price topped in a five wave move that rally started in um, June last year. And the proper breakout of this forever range, you might remember this range Link uh, for a very long period in the bear market uh, was only moving sideways. So this this proper breakout occurred then in October when many other cryptos also started to move. Uh, by the way, very, very similar situation that we have at the moment in the crypto sector um, to what it was back then. Altcoins, mm, not that visible, but at the time also Bitcoin was moving first and the altcoins moved, I think, briefly afterwards, but we have a very similar situation. Reminds me of that time, September, October, where um, Bitcoin uh, started to look good and um, yeah, pullbacks were shallow and then shortly afterwards the altcoins started to move. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, Link hasn't really given us um, much evidence that a low is in place here in this correction. So obviously after this wave one, what we are typically watching for is a wave two pullback. And uh, yeah, in this case, I'm labeling that as a WXY structure. And in the Y wave, then an A, B, C. Could that just means it could get another low? It doesn't need to get another low. We are holding currently a micro support region I'm watching. I've added that to the chart already a while ago. We can take a look at that. Um, I think what's important to understand is that the main support for this wave two correction, for this wave two that actually started around the 11th of March, that's at $6.89. So there isn't really anything bearish about this chart as long as we're holding $6.89. But if I go to the one hour time frame, um, we can see that there, there are other support levels, you know, and micro support. So first of all, within the larger box, which is in yellow, which is the main support area for the wave two, I think it's generally important to understand that anywhere in this box, we are watching for a reversal. Okay, so it's between 1276 and 689. The next larger rally, if it really unfolds as a larger third wave, could take us to 90 to 100 dollars. So we, we will have to see. I mean, it's not you can't promise this, but as long as we're holding 689, there is a reasonable projection for that. Um, so that's interesting. And if we then take a look at the micro patterns, it is technically possible that this wave two already bottomed. Problem is it didn't really reach the ideal downside target at $10.32. This would have been ideal. Okay, not needed, but ideal. Um, maybe, maybe the fact that it didn't reach it now holds the price back a little bit, maybe slows it down a little bit to the upside. Uh, we have in on this chart here, a wave one to the upside, a wave two, but that's too small to be bullish. This year can't really be a third wave. This can't really be a fourth wave. Well, I shouldn't say it can't, it can. It's just unreliable because this would be too short for a third wave. This is too deep for a fourth, but it's not invalidated. So it's, it's let's say it's too short for a reliable third wave. It's too deep for a reliable fourth wave, but it's not invalid. So it would it would work, but I would rather call this move down as a B wave of wave three, because that would allow me well, it would be ideal to get a larger third that minimally reaches 1520, but in the current context, ideally 1588 or 1638, and the C wave should also go higher. Yeah, So obviously it's wave C of three because we're dealing with a diagonal pattern. And then we need another four, five pattern. That wave five should reach $17, $18 or so. Only if we get this five wave move up, uh, we have a really good confirmation that a low has formed in wave two. I mentioned to you in previous videos, once we get a break above this green line, yeah, not a fake out, but a, you know, a sustained break, a convincing break, I would say probabilities for the yellow wave count. That means that we've bottomed already in this wave two, they would increase, but it still requires a five wave move up. The microstructure is a bit of a mess. It's not clearly, it doesn't really clearly tell me what it is. It's just moving, you know, it's just corrective patterns, basically bit of a, Need a bit more evidence here. Um, a move above the last high at $15, that would be the next best evidence that a low has formed. And here in the very short term, we're currently holding micro support for this B wave pullback. Doesn't really look great in terms of proportions, but again, it's valid. So 
as long as the $12.36 level is holding in the short term, the yellow wave count um, can still be followed. But it's, it's more like a wait and see thing at the moment. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.